Hey guys, it's been a long time since I did a tutorial. Um, I was sick. My, my cat got deathly ill. Uh, thankfully, I was able to save him, but he almost passed away, but I was able to save the little kitty. So no problems there. Um, anyway, uh, today I'm going to show you, uh, remember I did this video here, I'll play it, of that uh, Tron light cycle. I did a rendering of that. It's for a, a show a friend of mine is doing. I'm, I'm doing this uh, uh, rendering for them. I was going to show you uh, how to get this effect of having the ribbon of light trailing behind uh, the bike here. And you can actually use this for a, uh, a lot of different things. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to create that ribbon of light. And um, I'm in Modeler and I'm, uh, I'm in weight shaded mode. Uh, you can find it from this drop down. And you'll find out why because I'm going to be using weight maps here in, in a sec. So I'm going to uh, hit Shift X to create my box and create it, um, the ribbon of light out of this box object. Okay, and I'll hit Enter, and I'll go to my Modify tab and hit Center to put it in the world center. Okay, uh, now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a plugin called Inertia in um, in Layout, and also I'm going to create a, a gradient uh, weight map on this object and use the uh, gradient weight map and the inertia plugin to stretch it out and I'm gonna need a whole ton of segments down the length of this object and I forgot on purpose uh, to do that so I can show you how to use another tool go to multiply tab uh, under subdivide more uh, julienne okay it's like a julienning uh, in, in cooking so I'm gonna uh, select the Z axis and I'm gonna create like a hundred segments okay all right so you'll see that it has cut that for me and uh, it's a pretty nice tool because if you've forgotten uh, and you need a whole ton of geometry you can use Julienne uh, to do that but the thing is it will create these weird um, there'll be another layer somewhere uh, as you can see I had had this layer here uh, semi selected so uh, it will create these like um, cutter objects into to another layer so you might want to delete those okay all right so now we have our object I'll switch to my side view all right now we need to create a weight map for it so uh, go down here to the bottom and corner uh, click the W if it's not not already and go to new weight map and I will call this inertia weight Okay, and when you do that, anything that's selected, uh, or in this case, nothing was selected, so everything was set to 100%. So I need to clear that because I'm going to use the weights tool, and the weights tool will not work on the stuff that's already set to 100%. So I'll go to uh, set map value and set the value of the whole thing to zero. Okay, now with my numeric panel open, uh, I'll just click on weights. All right, and I'll set the fall off to linear. All right. And then uh, I can go ahead and, and right click and drag and you'll see my, my blue widget comes up and I'll put right down the center of this thing and just click on uh, change percent set to 100 percent and I'll click on apply and enter to accept and so now you can see that I have a weight map that is going down the length of this object from 0 percent to 100 percent all right and I can hit tab to subpatch this object. All right. So um, now I have my object. Let's go and uh, you know what? I'm going to need to stretch this object down to uh, a very uh, small uh, length here with the stretch tool. I'll hit H to stretch, and uh, I can either hit Control, uh, hold Control, and and start dragging my mouse to bring it in. Okay but I'll just go ahead and type the number and I'm just going to set to 1% apply that okay okay so I need to squash it down to a very uh, small size so that it can get stretched out later I'll center that again alright so that it's in the center okay and I'll, fly, I'll save this object as uh, let's see here let's find a good place for it to go I'll put it into that same Tron folder Call it ribbon test. Okay, and I'm going to send that object to layout. Oops, you know what? I have this scene open already. I'm going to clear that scene. Start with a brand new scene to show you from scratch. 
All right, now I'll send it to layout. Okay, there I have it. Okay, there's my side view. Okay, and uh, I'm going to create a, um, a null object to parent this to, just so it'll have something to, to chase around. Oops. Control N to bring up my null object. And uh, I'm going to click on this edit button so that I can make it uh, not a standard null object, but make it something I can look at here. I'll make it a diamond shape filled two meters big. Okay, oh, there it is. Maybe two meters is a bit large, but okay, so now I have that. And uh, I'm going to make that one meter. Okay, much better. Okay, um, so I'm going to select my uh, uh, ribbon object there. And uh, hit M for my motion panel, and I'm going to uh, parent that to the ribbon. Uh, oops, I'm going to parent it to the null object. Okay, next step. Okay, we have that parented. I'm going to increase my frames to 120, so I have a lot more frames to work with. Okay. Okay, select the ribbon object, and uh, next step is to hit P to bring up the properties panel. Okay, I'm going to set my displacement uh, subdivision order to last, so that ev everything gets uh, subdivided at the last moment, so I won't get any weird uh, artifacts. And I'll click over to my deform tab, and then down here is the inertia plugin. Okay, just double click on that, and uh, I'm going to set my lag rate to 1 and my weight map to the inertia weight, okay? And really, that's all you have to do. Now, since I've parented that to this, I can go ahead and start uh, animating. And as you can see, anywhere that I drag this, the inertia uh, weight map, the inertia plugin will make it stretch out and follow sort of like, uh, like a gymnast ribbon or a snake or something like that. So as you can see now, when I play through this, let's go ahead and play this. You can see that this effect, uh, this kind of slinky uh, ribbon effect, is occurring with very little effort that I have to do myself. Um, and of course, you could have it going in in three dimensions at once. Go to this frame here and have them kind of go over, and this frame here have them kind of go back. So when we play it now, you'll see that the object is following in, in all three dimensions. And that's the exact same technique I used on the light bike. Uh, I just made many, many more. So I think I did like 300, 400 subdivisions along the length of it. And uh, I think the inertia settings were the same. But as you can see, eventually it will run out of uh, segments, and then it will start following with it. But if you make more segments and you want it to stick like the light bike does, just make many, many more segments, and it will take longer for it to stretch out and follow along. So I hope that tutorial uh, helps you out.